Hello my friends. I'm going to do another flip cup today on a large canvas, but first let me show you the dried results of the last one. Um, here we go. It dried really nicely. Uh, I haven't cleaned it yet, but I did use silicone. Um, so I have to clean it and then varnish it, but I uh, love the shape of these cells and the colors dried nicely. The only thing is up here, um, I did not use the same mix for the black. I just used Floetrol and then I got these fractals and I, I don't think I like those. So I may go in and clean that up with black paint. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm pleased with it. And that's that. So I'm going to be using this mix again today but in my favorite blues. And I want to show you a couple other things before we get to that. I have a couple of embellishments. Um, <laughs> this one, this painting, the swipe, I think I made a video on it, pretty sure. If I did, I'll find it and link it up above. Um, long ago, and I had it on my website a long time. In fact, I had it reduced to $95. It's framed and everything, but um, it didn't didn't sell, didn't sell. And I was looking at it, and in light of the um, UFO stuff that's been in the news lately, I decided to paint a UFO on it, and I think it really um, improved the piece, made it far more interesting. And it's not going to be $95 anymore. But... Um, Funny thing, I, they said in the testimony during the congressional hearings that a football-sized UFO, they're calling it something else, UAP, I think, appeared over Vandenberg Air Force Base, where, which is where I live, back in 2003. Football field size. And it hovered over for about 45 seconds and then flew over the mountains. Well, I didn't see it. And I can't believe that in all those years, I haven't heard a single word about it. <laughs> so I'm still very skeptical, but you know, who knows? And then that one inspired me to do this one. I'm calling this one, what did I title it? I Need My Space. <laughs> this, I didn't make a video on, it was just some leftovers. And I thought it was interesting enough to keep it for something. And then when I, um, after I did this, the uh, UFO, I decided, oh, I'll do a companion piece and paint this guy. And so there he is. And then last but not least, I've come out with volume two of my book of embellishments. So I'll quickly go through, show you what's in here. Um, I always sign it if, if you get one, and you've probably seen a lot of these, but now they're all in one collection. Probably didn't see that one. That's an oldie. So is that one. That's a close-up of one. One's pretty dark. I wish I'd done a better picture of that, but uh, I'm mad. So, if you're interested, they are now on my website, and for a limited time, uh, $40 plus shipping. Normally $50. So, enough of that. Thank you for indulging me, and now let's get to today's pour. All right, let's get to this. I have a 20 by 20 deep canvas here, and I think I'll probably do three book cups on here. Let me run through my colors real quick. Artist Loft Metallic Black, Artist Loft Light Blue, Master's Touch Thalo Blue, Artist Loft White, Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray, Arteza Pearl Golden Hour, Creative Inspirations Viridian, and a little bit of white added to that Viridian. So, let's do it. I have added... Um, Three, three or four uh, drops of silicone to each color, except the white. And um, no reason that I skipped the white, except I didn't have a stir stick in it. So uh, I do stir it in really well. 
approximately one drop per ounce. So some of these cups have close to four ounces in it. And you know what, I'm just gonna try to make this as quick as possible. One, two, three. Oh, that was a pretty good flip. Okay. There we go. Kind of do this to get coverage. I'll leave that there. I've ever done a um, flip cup on this big of a canvas. That was a lot of paint. <laughs> I'm going to scrape all of this out because uh, when you do a flip cup with silicone, you have to have plenty of paint on the surface. So you don't distort your cells too much. Bubble. Because I don't like the way that looks so much. Okay, won't do that. I won't bother. All right, now I'm going to pop with the uh, pop some bubbles and bring up some cells with the torch. And you can see all those lovely little little cells right now and they will grow as I tilt. put the recipe down below. Um, the mix is pretty thick, but it needs to be in order to um, maintain the nice shape of cells. Too thin and they'll go really wonky on you. I like that little glow of gold right in the in that area there. Well, let's get rid of this. Uh, that one that didn't work out, so I'm probably gonna say goodbye to all of that. I'll come back to that, but first I want to get close to the edge all over. Maybe I need a corner catcher. Do I have something handy? I do not. Oh, 
well. I just cleaned up my uh, trash in here, my studio, and <laughs> I don't have any cardboard handy. I'm gonna run that off. I changed my mind. I'm gonna. I just can't look at that any longer. I'm gonna run that off. Somewhat unattractive portion right there. There's an ugly caterpillar. When the cells kind of line up like that, I don't like that look at all. So let's do that, make that go away. I'll use my glove as a corner catcher. Kind of questioning if I had enough paint for this big old canvas. So I'm having a really stretch these cells a lot to get coverage. I'm going to hit it with a torch one more time. Pull up some, uh, some more cells, some little ones. Okay, it's kind of pretty. Let me uh, hit it with a torch. I like that little sprinkling of cells alongside the, oh, I like that a lot, alongside the uh, large ones. They add a lot of texture, it seems like. All right. I like it. Let me bring you in for a closer look. A 
That's a pretty corner down here. Hey, look at those cute little cells. I like that uh, stripe of, what was that? The Payne's gray and the phthalo blue together there. So all different uh, sizes of cells, but they're all pretty much um, the shape that I like. When I use silicone, it's a fun little section there. Oh, that's a pretty corner up there, the blue and the green, the viridian together. Oh. Orientation to be determined later. But for now, I think I'm going to call it good. Thanks for watching, my friends. See you next time.